We got ourselves a different type of video. This one's called uh, Most Popular Anime 20, 2004 to 22, uh, sorry, 2024 with boss music. So basically, it's going to be like these graphs that's going to fluctuate as, you know, the different animes get better and better. Let's check it out. Put myself here. I'll take the chat. Okay, hold up. In the beginning, what was it? In the beginning, this is the year, January 2024, right? Let me move myself down a little bit more below. Inuyasha is at the highest. Sailor Moon, Yu Yu Hakusho, Dragon Ball. I'm not sure what this is. Evangelion, Shaman King. Don't know the. Oh shit, <laughs> name is already fucking on the left. What am I doing? <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> Full Metal Panic, Shaman King, Chobits, Planet Thieves, Initial D. Yu Gi Oh! This low? I thought Yu Gi Oh! would be way higher or something. Naruto this low in 2004? Pokemon that low? But this is 2004 though. Let's see how it changes. Okay. Oh, slam dunk, slam dunk. Sailor Moon, slam dunk. Oh shit, everything is changing so fucking fast. Inuyasha is still dominating. It, oh, Detective Conan made it. Oh, yo, yo, something huge came out there. Detective Conan came out of fucking nowhere here. You see that shit? Boom, boom, boom. Detective Conan out of fucking nowhere. Pokemon still so last. Naruto so low. But Inuyasha, Inuyasha is this dominant? Okay. Inuyasha still up. Ghost in the Shell's up. Ghost in the Shell is as high as Inuyasha for a period of time. That's kind of crazy. Ghost in the Shell came out of fucking nowhere, huh? Just out of nowhere, just takes over the anime space back in 2004. Boom. Still Inuyasha dominating. Slam dunk. 2005, but I'm telling you, if you haven't seen Slam Dunk, bro, Slam Dunk over Kuroko No Basket. Even if I haven't seen Kuroko No Basket, I don't give a fuck. Slam Dunk is a fucking national treasure, bro. It literally popularized basketball in Japan. Ghost in the Shell still doing well. Sailor Moon top. Dragon Ball falling out. Samurai Shampoo out of fucking nowhere. Boom, into second place. What the fuck? One of these days, maybe we can watch Samurai Shampoo. It's probably one of those days anime that we gotta watch in English dub, right? How's Moving Castle, Sailor Moon, Shaman Shaman Plouf, FMA, FMA. Full Metal Alchemist, 2005. Full Metal Alchemist is rising up. And you can see down here, Bleach is showing up. One Piece is here, right? Naruto's still so low. I expected the big three to be bigger. Like, this is blowing my mind how significant Inuyasha was back in the day. Like, that's crazy. That's insane. People call this the OG Isekai too. Okay, FMA, FMA up there. Naruto's climbing. Naruto and Bleach is now climbing. Both, okay. 2005, 2004 was a bit early, but 2005, you can see how much like the big three shonen, Naruto, One Piece, Bleach are gonna climb up. Inuyasha is still dominating. FMA over sale. Okay, something changed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Inuyasha just got dethroned. What the fuck just happened? 2005 was still Inuyasha. And then maybe Inuyasha ended. Who knows? Maybe some controversy happened, but Slam Dunk takes over. Naruto, One Piece, Bleach are slowly catching up. Inuyasha still top. Wait, wait, wait. Naruto climbing. Naruto climbing. Bleach is climbing. Naruto at top. Boom! Something happened. Something happened here. Naruto was behind a little bit of Inuyasha. Then it just doubled it. Look. Wait, what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is happening? What the f That's the Naruto effect, man. I, I guess Naruto 2006 was like when it just global sensation. 2006 is Shippuden? Oh. Well, that's the manga though. Is it the anime? I'm not completely sure, but 2006, Naruto Shippuden might start be popping off. You know, Bleach is still here. I'm so surprised at how low One Piece is, man. Also, the reason One Piece seems this low, maybe it's gonna change later, but this is like a global ranking, right? This is not specific to like, uh, what's it called? Japan only. I hear that Naruto has succeeded in the Western market way better than a uh, Japanese market ever could because of the whole thing with ninjas. I don't know. The, the whole One Piece thing wasn't really a global phenomenon like Naruto was back in the past is what I hear. Death Note, Death Note, out of nowhere. Death Note. What the? What? 
Death Note out of fucking nowhere overwhelms Naruto. Bleach, slam dunk still there. Naruto back, Naruto back, but Death Note still number two. Holy shit, Death Note. I underestimated Death Note. I, okay. I, I truly underestimated Death I I would have never guessed that it was like this level of hype. Holy shit. Wait, wait, Naruto Bleach, it's back. Bleach on top. Death Note back. And again, <laughs> still One Piece. Where the fuck is One Piece? It's not, I mean, top six isn't bad, right? But like, I expected One Piece to be way better. Still same. Oh, oh, Spice and Wolf. Oh, Spice and Wolf just got introduced. You see that? Spice and Wolf just showed up out of fucking nowhere. Reclaim and then just claim top five. Slam dunk back. Spice and Wolf. Code Geass. 2008. Code Geass out of fucking nowhere. Boom. Boom. Oh, shit. Surpasses Naruto. Code Geass surpasses Naruto. Oh shit, surpass! <gasps> wow, actually had number one spot for a bit, huh? Wow. Holy shit. Death Note, still so strong. Dragon Ball getting a huge resurgence here in 2008. What happened here? What the fuck happened? Did Goku get a new form in 2008? Naruto, slam dunk, slam dunk! Oh, oh. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball. Oh my god, what the fuck? What happened? 2008, 2009? Could Goku drop a new fucking form? Naruto? Bleach? Bleach is hanging up pretty... It's crazy! Just to see how One Piece has never even made it up there yet. That's insane! Like, Bleach and Naruto are way more popular across the world than One Piece. Man, the fall off of Inuyasha is kind of sad. But I wonder what this really means. Like, does that mean that, you know, Inuyasha has finished his story? If it did, then obviously, how the fuck can it be better, right? Pokemon Rising. Oh shit, Dragon Ball out of nowhere. Slam Dunk fell off completely off the charts. Oh! Kaicho made sama out of fucking nowhere just popped up. Kaicho made sama. Top three. Maybe that was a fad. High school of that. You see this shit? High school of that also just popped in out of fucking nowhere. What the? You Kaicho made sama literally peaked for a bit. It did. It was over Naruto four just a bit. Kai makes me want to fucking see it. 2010, Attack on Titan and SAO, right? Attack on Titan and SAO is about to drop very soon, I think. Okay, okay. Gantz, 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 Gantz popping off. Gantz, oh, slam dunk resurgence. Slam dunk out of fucking nowhere in 2011, coming right back. What the fuck? Pokemon doing well. Full Metal Alchemist doing well. Auto Exorcist. You see this? Blue Exorcist. Look at this, bro. Blue Exorcist. Higher than One Piece and Bleach at a certain point. Oh! What the fuck is XXX Holic? I don't know what this one is. XXX Holic. Wow. Damn. Aono Exorcist, Naruto, then XXX Holic. Top three. Better than One Piece, bro. That's kind of crazy. Angel Beats, right over here, you see it too. Oh, oh, oh Mirai Nikki, oh, Future Diaries out of nowhere. Future Diaries out of fucking nowhere. Top four. Top three. Fairy Tale. I see Fairy Tale. I see. Oh, shit, SAO. It's 2012, Jalen. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, Fairy Tale also entered, right? I see Guilty Crown, yeah, yeah, yeah. But SAO, it's 2012. SAO just dropped part one. Aincrad is about to just shock the world. Slam Dunk got a fucking aura again. Dude, what is up with Slam Dunk? Just out of nowhere just has burst like this. Where is SAO? I'm looking at the, oh, Dead Man Wonderland. Dead Man Wonderland is popping off out of nowhere. Oh my God. 
Oh my god. Dead Man Wonderworld just showed up out of nowhere second place. First place. First place. Makes me want to watch it. Makes me want to... What is the hype all about? Okay. Oh, there, 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 there. You see it? I see SAO. Very bottom. SAO has just entered the fray. It's just dropped. This shit is about to get to the top. Let's see how fast it goes. Climbs to the top. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, shit. B2, I don't know. I, I, I see B2. I'm checking SAO right now, but I see B2 just jump to SAO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SAO on top. Oh, 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 oh it's falling off. It's falling Oh, shit. Attack, attack. Oh, shit. SAO actually didn't have that big of an impact. It did definitely show. I mean, to show up out of nowhere and get number one is for sure strong. But I thought it would hold down its presence. But obviously, the entire, like, the Aincrad arc was good. And then ALO, people are like, ah, what the fuck is this, right? So obviously, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fucking drop real quick. But here comes Attack on Titan soon. Oh, oh slam, dude, what the fuck is with slam dunk every year? It's like an annual event. There's like a slam dunk month that shows up out of nowhere. Mirai Nikki, Mirai Nikki, Mirai Nikki. Why? Oh shit, Attack on Titan. You see that? Mirai Nikki is also going crazy. But look, 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 Attack on Titan is about to show up, right? Look at this shit. Where's Attack on Titan? Mao Sama. Attack on Titan just entered the fray right here. AOT just entered the fray. But I also see Mao Sama. Devil's a partner with season one was so fucking good. I hate what they did with season two. Look how fast AOT is about to fucking jump, bro. Boom, 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 boom. Devil's a part time is also jumping really high. Hunter Hunter has entered the fray as well. Keep a note. Hunter Hunter has entered the fray. AOT. Ooh. AOT. Oh, shh. That, okay. I, have, I haven't seen a gap like this. I think this is the biggest gap from number one and two. You haven't seen AOT? You need to go fucking watch Attack on Titan. What are you doing, bro? You literally have peak fiction that you haven't even touched. Think about the best anime you've ever watched and how empty you felt after you finished it and realize you have another thing like that that you haven't even started, bro. Holy shit, AOT doubling everything. Oh! What the fuck is this? Kyokai no Kanata? That just jumped the fuck up. How? Bitum is still here. What the fuck is this? Okay, pretty much. This oh, new uh, slam dunk again. Fucking new start of the year, bro. Every January, every January slam dunk shows up out of fucking nowhere. Boom. Look, look, look. It's slam dunk again. Nisekoi. Nisekoi. And look, AOT is still holding the gap. S SAO. Yeah, there's a lot of shows that captivated the first place for a bit and fell off. AOT has been holding a doubled margin to the entire fucking time. Fairy tail climbing, fairy tail climbing. AOT is taking. Okay, it's tripling it. Okay, it's tripling it. I guess season two aired or some shit, bro. And season two, no spoilers in chat for people that haven't seen AOT, bro. The revelations, the amount of shock that you will be in season two after watching season one, and that's not even the end of it. Wait till you get to season three, bro. Season 2 and 17? Oh, never mind. This is still season 1 shit? The fuck? Okay, it's still climbing just as season 1 shit? SAO, SAO's back! What happened? What? Hunter Hunter climbed nice, but you see this shit? SAO season 2? GGO arc? Is Shino saving? Is the. Really? Over AOT? I guess a lot of people loved Aincraft so much they checked out season 2, even though ALO was a disappointment to them. Akame got kill. Akame got kill has entered the fray. Akame got kill. And it's really interesting to see that there has not been a single isekai show up. Yes, I know Inuyasha has OG isekai. But notice how the landscape of anime. And I wonder if ReZero is going to take over in 2016, right? But like, hmm, no isekai here. SAO? Yeah, my bad. SAO is an isekai. But when I say isekai, I mean more of like the... Modern isekai garbage that we see every day, you know, in, in this year. Akame got killed. Tokyo Ghoul. Tokyo Ghoul. Akame got killed. You're lying, April. Also making it in. Oh shit, you're lying, April. That was pretty good. It beat Naruto for a bit. You're lying, April. You're lying, April. You're lying, April. Natsu Taizai. Seven Deadly Sins. Tokyo Ghoul. 
Naruto has been holding down. Bro, Naruto's relevance in the globe is unreal, man. One Punch Man entering. One Punch Man. And look, it's January. What does January mean? Slam Dunk is about to spike. Yeah, what I fucking say? Dude, it's like clockwork. Every January, Slam Dunk shows up out of fucking know What is this? Slam Dunk month? Boom. Look, look, look. Where? Where are you coming from? Why are you here? Oh! Food Wars! Dude, that rise from Food Wars is crazy. Look at that, look at that. Food Wars literally just showed up at the bottom. Food Wars just showed up at the bottom, look. Naruto on top. Whoa, 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 Dragon Ball! <laughs> Himato Umaru-chan. Umaru-chan. <laughs> People call this like a brain rot anime, right? One of these days, I want to check it out. I'm surprised no one mentioned it. Noragami. I know that Noragami is an opening you guys fucking love. Noragami's here now. Oh my god, One Punch Man. One Punch Man. One Punch Man has joined. Oh my god, One Punch Man on top. I mean, season one, One Punch Man is fucking crazy, right? Oh! Not as big as a gap of AOT had. Not as big, but huge. And they catch up. Uh oh, slam dunk. January, look, look. January means slam dunk comes out of nowhere again. Just for a bit. Mm, nothing new yet. Nothing new. Oh! What the fuck happened here? Pokemon. Something spiked with Pokemon here. What the fuck? Did a new game launch? Pokemon Go? Ah, trends, baby, trends. 2016, Pokemon Go, that makes sense. Oh, this is the biggest gap. This is the biggest gap that's ever been. Not only is it the biggest number, but compared to second place, it's the biggest gap there's ever been. This is the power of Pokemon and children, bro. There's so many kids. There's so many fucking kids, right? That is the biggest audience. There will always be in media. AOT making comeback. Oh, your name. Your name just showed up. Look, look, look. Boom. Look at that jump. Oh, oh. Asylum voice is also there. Asylum voice is also there, but no, your name. People glaze this movie like crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Ghost in the Shell is back here. Yuri on ice, aka Yaoi on ice. Uh, Ghost in the Shell's climbing. Kobayashi's Dragon Maid has entered the fray. Konosuba is down here. Konosuba kind of kind of low, man. Oh my God, Ghost in the Shell. What? What the fuck is this? Is this a Ghost in the Shell remake or some shit? What the fuck happened here? Attack on Titan's back. New season, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, season two. Season two AOT, I think. Boom, baby. Silent voice over AOT? Isekais are entering slowly though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arrow Manga Sensei. Arrow Manga Sensei is here. Yo, where's Re Zero? Yo, where's. This is 2017. No Re Zero in the comment? I, I, I thought Re Zero was the most watched anime across the world in 2016. But the anime of the year 2016 was your name. Did Re Zero even show up? I'm too focused on looking to the, at the top shit. Did we, did we not even see Reezer? Not even once? Not even once? Not, it didn't even make it at, not even at the very bottom? You tell me Bungo, you tell me Cabinary of the Iron Fortress made it in, but Reezer didn't? You, you, you tell me Bungo Stray Dogs made it, but Reezer... This is fucked up. This is fucked up. What the f- I- I thought Re Maybe Reezer was spiked at a different time. I thought that during 2016, it was like a global phenomenon. Huh. I saw Konosuba here for a bit at the very bottom, but all right. My Hero Academia entered. My Hero Academia entered. My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia. 
Oh shit, Death Note back. What happened 2017? What happened 2017 with Death Note, bro? Is it the IRL? The the I I heard that the uh live action Death Note was genuinely good. That's a huge gap. Dragon Ball's back. Umaruk back. Your name's still hanging on strong. Nanatsu Taizai? Full Metal Alchemist is back. And remember, what happened right here? January. What happens in January? What happens in January, guys? Look, 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 look. January means slam dunk out of nowhere. Where is it? There it is. There it is. Slam dunk. Whoa, Tokyo Ghoul! Ooh, my hero academia is definitely getting by higher and higher and higher. Borto, Boruto in Stein's game. High school DXD. High school DXD, baby. Also, Darling in the Franks is this low. I thought it'd be a little bit higher. Natsuno Taizai still doing well. Attack on Titan! Attack on Titan! AOT! Hmm. AOT on top. Oh shit! Goblin Slayer! Look at that! Look what happens when you give a goblin giving back shots to a waifu in episode 1, bro. Boom, 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 boom! And then it's gonna fall off because virality. Oh, look at this. I got reincarnated as a slime, just entered the fray. Uh, Bunny Senpai is here. And yeah, Goblin Slayer, of course it's gonna fall off after the first episode, right? Tensura, Tensura. Oh! Rising of the Shield. Rising of the Shield Hero Season 1. Better than Tensura, bro. And you know what? I understand it. Because the revenge story that was portrayed in Season 1 can resonate with a broader audience. It really can. Shield Hero, I can totally see it. Even though Tensura is objectively a better Isekai overall than Shield Hero, the anime season 1, I think that I definitely get it. I 100% I get it. Kaguya-sama. Kaguya-sama has entered the fray. Holy shit. Slam dunk did his thing. One Punch Man! One Punch Man! Holy shit, dude. One Punch Man's got it. And S Shield Hero still this high? Konosuba's back up, but falling back. Man, it really puts into perspective of how small this isekai genre is, huh? Compared to all these different big animes, like, Konosuba barely makes it onto the list and falls out. Huh. Dr. Stone, Dr. Stone. Villain Saga showed up, Villain Saga showed up. Oh, Demon Slur. Kimetsu no Yaiba, baby. You foldable animation. My hero. Pokemon again? Death Note climbing. Slam Dunk climbing because it's January for a bit. New anime, Beastars. <laughs> I heard this furry anime is actually pretty good. Beastars, bro. Konosuba climbing. Konosuba climbing. That's nice to see that Isekai is doing this well. Haikyuu. Haikyuu is in the fray. I, there's a huge community of Haikyuu enjoyers out there. One Piece, finally. Took you until 2020 to get One Piece in first place. That's actually shocking, man. And now we are approaching Rona P. Yeah, this is during the middle of the lockdowns and pandemic. My hero, Fire Force is up there. Kakigurui, this is the gambling anime, right? Hunter Hunter so high as well. Oh shit, Jujutsu Kaisen. JJK, baby. Jujutsu Kaisen. JJK climbing. Oh, fuck. What happened here? Was it season three? What just happened here, bro? AOT is about to fucking run again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, season four? Yeah, season four. Oh yeah. Oh my fucking god. Promise Neverland. Promise Neverland. Redo healer. <laughs> Redo healer is here, boys. Redo healer January 2021. I expect the redo of healer to get high, just like Goblin Slayer. Really? The sensation over Goblin Slayer was better than Redo of Healer? That's shocking to me. Kimetsu no Yaiba, dominating. <laughs> Don't toy with me, Miss uh, Tan Girl. Yeah, that's that. And uh, apparently this manga ended recently too, right? What is this one? Tokyo Revengers. What the fuck? Why is Tokyo Revengers as popular? Why? Why is this anime so popular? What the fuck? It was higher than Jujutsu Kaisen at a point? I don't understand. Does that mean that there's a season that really popped off? Is it that good? Bro, what? Is it that good? 
Season one was that good? Maybe like one season it pops off and then everything else is trash. I don't know. Kimetsu no Yaiba back. Oh, 86 made on the list. Mushoku Tensei has entered the fray. Let's see how high one of the best isekais can do right now. Mushoku Tensei, can you get up there? No, you can't. You immediately fell off. That's sad. Cowboy Bebop's about to fucking take first place though. Ooh, Cowboy Bebop. MT, MT climbing! Jojo's, Jojo's, MT climb dress. My dress of darling is entering. My dress of darling. Oh my god, my dress of darling, bro. Look at that. My dress of darling immediately getting the top three. Oh, 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 JJK! Spyx Family! Spyx Family, bro. It was a genuinely good anime. I enjoyed it. Hunter Hunter Rising. One Punch Man Rising again. Classroom of the Elite. Oh, you'll love to see it. Probably one of my favorite anime series. Classroom of the Elite. Even though it may be butchered, according to the Light Novel readers, I understand it could be way more. I love Classroom of the Elite. There's a special place in my heart for this show. Let's go, Coat. Let's go, Coat. Oh my god. Cyberpunk Edge Runners came out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, Cyberpunk Edge Runners was a huge phenom. Oh my god. Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man, this. Well, yeah, it was hyped up, but I think it fell a little flat on its face. Eminence and Shadow up here. You see this shit, guys? Eminence and Shadow, baby. Eminence and Shadow climbing. Blue Lock, Blue Lock, Eminence and Shadow. What the fuck is this Lucasm? This is a webtoon, right? Eminence and Shadow climbing. Oh, yo, Eminence and Shadow this high? That's so hype. Like for an isekai this hype? Bro, this is the highest I've seen in isekai! Yes, I know SAO Inuyasha can be categorized, but I'm talking about like, re like recent isekais, man. Let's go, Eminence and Shadow! Oh shit, AOT is making a comeback immediately. Uh oh, uh oh. What is this? Suzume. What the fuck is Suzume? Oshinoko. Oshinoko has entered the fray. Oshinoko! Oh, Black Clover! Black Clover 2023! Jutsu Kaisen makes a comeback with Shiba Incident? Mm, Zom 100. Zombie 100 is that high for a bit? Yeah, I guess it was good. Then it fell off real fucking quick with the scheduling. Oh my god, One Piece just... Okay, okay. Something happened here. Something happened here. Is this Wano? What happened here? July to August. Gear 5? Wano? Live action? Got it. New forms, new powers. Right, live action makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Holy shit, it's climbing. It's still climbing. Holy, yo, what was the peak there? 30 mil? Because, like, this has already surpassed a uh, 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 Pokemon back then. Pokemon was uh, the best so far. One Piece is hitting 32 mil. 30, 30, 32, 33 mil. Frieden is here now. Frieden is here. Stenser at bottom. Frieden, Frieden. Eminence and Shadow climbing again. Frieden, top three. Apothecary Diaries. Look how big this show is, man. Apothecary Diaries. Parasite I Hear is a really amazing anime, too. Oh! Solo leveling! Solo leveling! That's pretty good. MASH? MASH was that popular? I love to see Class Unity Elite up here, man. MASH that high, though? What the fuck? My hero, Tensura, Tensura, Tensura here. Oh, sorry, it's Konosuba, it's Konosuba. And that's pretty much it, man. And the final, what is this? What is the final chart? Hold up. Anime of the year. 2005, 4, 5, Inuyasha, Naruto, Death Note for a while, more Naruto. It's just, Naruto's dominance is so crazy, man. SAO had its time, AOT had its time, right? And then what? And then to at the AOT, One Punch Man, Peak, bro, the movie, your name, Dragon Ball Super, My Hero popping off, AOT, Kimetsu no Yaiba. It's just, you can see that, like, if you're talking about, like, of course these are not anime of the years as in, like, it's based on just rankings and how many people watched it. Of course, they're going to be more shonen shows. Like, you're not going to see Baki Monogatari up here, right? You're not going to see actually fucking Monogatari series, right? What are these shows? Think about it. These shows are the most bottom of the barrel, lowest hanging fruit, the most common denominator shows, right? If it's a popularity contest, then you need to cater towards children. Hype shit, boonga boonga. Surprised that Death Note is that high up, despite it being like a big brain show, right? But most of the anime is here, yeah. 
Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me why these are this popular. That was a really cool video to see. Nice to see Eminence and Shadow and Code up there. Really sad to see no ReZero. Like, damn. Maybe ReZero ain't that big, guys. I don't know what's going on. But hey, please, go give Mr. Rene a like. This is a fantastic video. Maybe he has more videos like this. But uh, here's the video. Please go check the video. Like it if you did. And I'll see you next time.